the young and the restless star Sean Dominic has had quite a time on the show as Nate Hastings. However, the recent betrayal that was totally uncalled for has him questioning his own existence in the show. So, is Nate staying put in GC? Or is he going to take the classic break and go away? Let's find out right away. Hey everyone, welcome to Trend Street. Kickstarting his young and restless journey in 2018, Sean has one hell of a career. Meanwhile, his alter ego has had an even wilder ride. He has done it all, but so far, none of them has been a success, because he is always impatient to stick to one thing for a long haul. Nate was a hotshot surgeon, but plot twist, he didn't want to be a surgeon. So, he switched gears to the corporate world, joining Chancellor Winters, where he betrayed his own family to get a lucrative post at Newman Enterprises, only to get the boot and find himself back to square one at Chancellor Winters. And let's not even start with his love life, which is as complicated as his work life. So far, he fell in love with Elena, only to cheat on her with Victoria, and then slept with her for months and months, only to tell her that he still considers her as a friend. Having lost both Job and Victoria, he goes back to his family, who not only forgive him but also welcome him back to the family business. Now, you'd think a family reunion at Chancellor Winters would be all sunshine and rainbows, but no, there's a lingering bitterness. All thanks to Newman's for crushing his ambitions like a bug. In a recent interview with the soap opera Digest, Sean Dominic says that Nate is actually very super grateful to be back, but his ego took a hit the size of Mount Everest. Going from corporate high flyer to family guy wasn't exactly what he had in mind, but Nate had to rub shoulders with the Newmans to realize that family should be a priority. He said, it was a huge drop going back to Chancellor Winters, but it took Nate experiencing the Newmans to realize he has to, in some way, put family over everything as well. The classic soap lesson, family over everything. Victor Newman, the puppet master pulling the strings, may have orchestrated it all. Was it to unite the family or just a power move? Even Nikki, Victor's right-hand woman, was shocked. And obviously, soap opera characters don't do subtlety. Sean said, it was straight up uncalled for, and Nikki, right away, was like, are you gonna quit? Are you gonna resign? Nate's not over it. The betrayal hit him like a sledgehammer, especially considering he looked up to Victor as a father figure and mentor. Betrayal by someone you admire? That's a whole new level of sting. The betrayal happened at warp speed, leaving us all hungry for more details. How's Nate dealing with this emotional roller coaster? We need answers. But here's the thing, Nate still respects Victor, despite the corporate backstabbing. It's like that complicated relationship where you're mad at someone, but deep down, you still care. Can there be forgiveness in the cards? Maybe, just maybe, Victor might consider a heartfelt apology. We're not holding our breath though. Victor and apologies are like oil and water, they don't mix. Now, if the stars align and Nate forgives and forgets, will he stick to the family first mantra, or will his ambitious side lure him back to the Newman Circus? That's the million dollar question folks. Soap opera logic dictates that anything can happen, especially if Nate and Victoria rekindle the flame. Dominic hinted that a Nate-Victoria reunion isn't off the table. Did Nate make the right call by breaking up with her? He's not entirely sure, but one thing's for sure, he needed a breather from that Victor-Nikki drama. So it looks like Nate isn't running away, but more drama is on the way. We better be on the lookout. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you for checking this video out. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for new videos every day. Turn that bell notification on if you want to hear from us and comment down below if you've subscribed and we'll make sure to reply and thank as many of you as we possibly can.